in this video we are going to see classes and objects in python so basically in python everything is considered as an object so if we declare a variable as name as uh, hello for example and if we do like a print statement and uh, we check the type of this uh, name variable we are going to see it's a class of string so what is the class so class is actually a user defined very like uh, not variable user defined data type which you can consider it's like a blueprint for uh, creating objects for that matter so if you want to create a new class let me delete this so i'm just going to create a new class so we use the keyword class followed by class name so the general idea is you make the first character uppercase so let's do something like greet for example and inside this right now we are going to do a pass for example so if we do pass we ah, let's don't do that let's create a value over here so x equals 10 maybe so we have a value inside this class or an object inside this class so we are going to create a new object for this class so this is actually the property of this class uh, so if we want to create an object for example you can do something like uh, let me name the variable as c1 for example for simplicity's sake so the class one equals we can specify our function or the class so greet and a brackets and i can like uh, get the value of x from this so and use print and c1 and i can use a dot or a period after that i can specify what i need like x for over here so if i use that this is actually going to get the value of x so this is actually a property of this class so in order for you to access a property of a particular class you use a period after that you specify the property name so let's name this as property uh, property one I don't want to like get you guys confused so if i do that and now if i print the program you can see like it prints out the value of this property one and you might think what's the point why you need to do something like this you can do always do like uh, a equals 10 and you can print that value so you might be thinking why go through all these hassle to get something like this done so the idea is we are going to create something a little bit more complex so we can define a new type of like class with self initialization so it will initialize by itself so in this case i'm going to define and two underscores with init so let me clear out this and inside this uh, self after self i'm just going to pass name and email for example so these are the three arguments that i'm going to pass inside this so what this self does is it will always reference to uh, same class and name and email are like uh, the arguments you pass to this so when you do this this is going to initialize itself first then you can get the values like uh, put the values inside this name and email for example so if i do uh, self name equals name and i can do something like uh, self dot email so we have specified that already now what we can do is we can create an object so for example this is a greeting function so we don't have any greet but uh, i'm just going to show you that in a moment so 
so for this case we can define a greeting over here so we can define a function like uh, left greet for example and inside this i can use pass the argument self so we are passing it to itself and i can do something like print oh hello and i can pass the name so self dot name and again i can do another print statement so print um, your mail is uh, something like this and i can specify self dot email so that's like we are defining a method for this so here inside this we are going to get like first let's uh, put something inside the first object let's create an object first so let's do something like uh, mm, greet one for example greet one is going to be our first object equals and we can specify our class name for example so greet mm, i need an uppercase character over here so i have initialized the first object so this is like the layout for the object so we have this and inside i can have like arguments so self is for initialization so it initializes itself and we need to pass two arguments namely name and email so i can pass that over here so for that like uh, mike for example comma and i can pass the email so a at the rate a dot com for example so i'll pass two values over here now if i do something like uh, greet one dot and we have this function or method over here so if i do like greet if i do this this is like the built-in method which is inside different classes spring class or something like that so if you do that you can see hello mike your email is at something like this so instead of like such a lame function you can use this like a pretty complex function inside this so you define a class with a layout for your data type which you want or it's like if you cannot represent it with a string or something and if you need something else you can do that or if you need something on your own you can create a class and you can make it specific to your object that's why I use object oriented programming and similarly you can like create another one so let's do something like uh, greet uh, two for example that's like the second variable or a second object i can do greet inside brackets i can pass two other arguments like uh, oh, john and i can put a name for that like uh, john doe at the rate a dot com for example and now if i call the second one so uh, greet two dot i can use the same method so if i run this you can see hello john email so similar to this you can see the indentation for this class okay you need to be careful with that this is not intended uh, let me give some space similar to this i can add like multiple parameters like uh, um, def hello for example and inside this name and i can pass like uh, print i can specify like hello lazy something like this and i can specify the name uh, uh can i need to give self i'm sorry so self 
uh, cell thought name over here if I do this and now if I run uh, grid 2 dot um, hello for example and I'm going to delete the others for uh, just now and if I run the program again you can see hello lazy John so you can do stuff like that so that's the advantage of using classes and objects in Python so class is actually a it's actually a blueprint uh, it can also be considered as a user-defined data type it will be having its own members like if you want you can declare variables or stuff like that like its own members inside it will be having its own functions or operations and an object is something that is like which can access the members of a class for example so these are the members of this class and this is an object and these all can access the members of this class that's how like uh, class and member like objects work in a higher level so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day